today I'm going to show each and every single one of you how I do my makeup look in fall. I have been recently liking to keep it very simple, mystic, kind of natural with a hint of glam ish. Um, I don't really know. So I'm just going to do my makeup and I'm just going to show you what I do. Not a tutorial. I'm not really teaching you, but this is what I use. Anastasia Dip Brow. I'm just going to do her eyebrows. This looks like poop and because um, I forgot to moisturize my face and prime my face so we got to restart. I don't want to look crusty right now. Do I really want to look crusty? I do not want to. Uh, first things first. First things first, Um, I take this moisturizer by a uh, 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 drunk elephant. Me on the weekends. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Where am I? And you just want to blend it in because moisturizer is literally the most crucial step, I think, in the beauty world because if you don't moisturize, you are going to get wrinkles. We're going to age faster. And you know what? You can prevent that by just using moisturizer every day. I used to have really bad skin, kind of wrinkly, because I never moisturized. And then I started moisturizing, and I was like, whoa, I look like a 12-year-old again. So I think moisturizer is the most crucial part, because it just blends your foundation seamlessly. It makes everything just go on a lot easier, a lot smoother, a lot prettier. And then just a little bit of primer by milk Ooh. I need a and now I'm just doing my eyebrows with Anastasia dip brow because that's my favorite product and as you can tell I don't really have the best eyebrows so they're kind of light but you know that's okay I like to make my eyebrows really dark. They used to be really bad a year ago. But that's okay. Everybody needs to have a bad eyebrow phase in their life. I mean, some people don't, and I'm jealous. Like, I, I thought my eyebrows looked good a year ago. But not really. Next up, I used Gimme Brow by Benefit because um, I find that doing this gives you more of a 3D effect of your eyebrows. You just comb on a gel, a darkened gel, a colored brown gel onto your thin eyebrows and it just helps with the illusion to make it look like you have fluffy full eyebrows and um, I think that's very I don't know this is just how I like to do my eyebrows so don't come at me <coughs> ooh and those are complete next up in my beauty routine is I grabbed this beauty blender that I probably had since 2017 and I grabbed this foundation that I just bought a week ago. It's Fenty Beauty. And not gonna lie, it kind of smells like Play-Doh. That's just my opinion. And I, I start by a little bit in each section of my face. And a lot of people say they prefer to use a brush with this foundation. But I just thought it looked really patchy and enhanced my crusty face. So, like beauty blender is a way to go for me in my opinion and it just left it kind of streaky and i had to blend it out with my beauty blender anyways so you guys what is up it is 
halfway through the month a little bit over halfway maybe it is halfway no maybe it is a little over halfway anyways what is up i turned 20 years old on october 15th and it was pretty good it was a chill day I didn't really do anything exciting went out for lunch and then went out for dinner and then didn't do anything that's okay i only turned 20 nothing special about that that's fine i don't really have friends to do anything with but that's okay i have you guys and you guys make me happy like we are almost at 10,000 subscribers and literally in grade 12 when i tried to start doing youtube first i had like 10 subscribers and i wasn't going anywhere and now i have you guys and it just makes me so happy okay 20 years later and i am blended out i think but um i'm kind of breaking out lately because it was just canadian thanksgiving so um i've had some pie it was my birthday i had cake it was nearing halloween i've been having lots of chocolate got a lot of chocolate for my birthday <laughs> Shh, don't come at me So I'm just gonna go see a little bit. I generally don't put that much face makeup on, but today I feel like looking like a baddie. So yeah, uh huh. Woo, crazy! Wow, amazing, fabulous! Ah. <laughs> So that's that. That's how I do my face. Base. The base of my face to make me look on freak. Oh yeah. So that's what I do. Next up, I take some contour and I chisel out the hollows of my face. Just to add a little bit of dimension and make myself not look just so flat, you know. And then I pull my hair back. And then I add it all right here. Do the same to the other side because you want to be symmetrical, you know? A little bit up here. And then a little bit on the nose. <sighs> ah Next up, I do some blush because I like blush. I think it makes me look cute. So I wear blush. And you know, if you have a little bit of uh, pimples or whatever on your face, it kind of just blends into it and makes it not look as noticeable. So you know, blush is a look. That's what I like. Next up, I take this Becca setting powder. I got this in my BoxyCharm from September this powder and I, I really like it not gonna lie it kind of snaps and I kind of just put this all over my face because like I said I have a greasy face so I just like to make sure I am very set and I just inhale some of that I can't breathe it's like I'm breathing chalk but this doesn't taste or smell like chalk just dry of the powder and I am dying just kidding <laughs> and then what I do is I grab a big fluffy brush and next up I grab my Anastasia glow my glow kit and I dip into the shade butterscotch because that's a pretty color I'm not gonna show you this pop <laughs> and we just highlight I have a pimple right there and that highlight is accentuating it but you know if you have flaws just gotta embrace who you are because nobody is perfect there's no definition of perfect in my world you just gotta be confident in your own skin. It's 
So we contoured, we blushed, we highlighted, we set the face, we did our brows. We did all that shenanigans. Next up, what we're gonna do is hop into our eyeliner. And we're just gonna do some eyeliner. I'm not the best at eyeliner, so don't come at me. So, um, next up, sometimes what I do is I take a, you know, like, not a liquid eyeliner, like a pencil eyeliner. I go like this, I pull up my eyelid a little bit. And just add this into my upper lash line. I do this because you see this, and then you see that. I mean, it makes a little bit of a difference because for me, my eyelashes, like they kind of like, if I just put eyeliner and then you'll like see like my skin under the eyeliner and like, it just makes it super black. Like, I don't know. I just, my opinion, other people might do that, but I don't really know. I don't know. Next up, I take this eyelash curler that I got at H&M for one dollar literally um maybe seven years ago and you know first eyeliner curler that I ever bought and it works like a charm now I got my eyes all curled and now I take my mascara it's D too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I just put these on my eyes, like so. Watch me do it, okay? So that's how I got my eyes over Next up, what I like to do, not every day, I dip in to my Kat Von D. I've just seen this. I take this, I, I wet, I wet a, this isn't even a makeup brush. This is literally an acrylic, maybe this is watercolor, but this is, for painting, but we're gonna put it on my face because that's the tea. And we're gonna take the darkest color, swirl around there a little bit, and just add a little bit of freckles because I do have natural freckles. But this summer, I didn't. I didn't get to go out into the sun from my transplant. Hi, if you're new here, I have chemo and a transplant. Not a big deal or anything. It's just my life. And that's how I like to do my I've been doing faux freckles for like two years now and um, they've come a long way not really I don't really know next 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 moisturize my lips put in a hair clip
like so. Ooh. Na la 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 la. <laughs> okay, last step, guys. Some days, um, um, I like to add a lip, you know? I moisturize, they're all prepped and ready to go for a lip. So what do I want to do today? Some days, I like to add this shade by ColourPop. I really like it a lot. It's a nice nude. It goes very well with my complexion. Okay, next shade I like to wear in the fall time is this kind of like off red burgundy light burgundy um shade i like that sometimes a dark shade is fun too for the fall because you know you look at the trees and then you see the dark leaves turning into a brown and when they fall on the ground they're brown and crispy and crunchy and decomposing and this is just a ooh fall colors i love it so what color am i feeling today Eeny meeny miny mo catch a jacket by the toe if colors let me go eeny meeny miny mo my mother says I want to do I don't know what color I want to wear today. Oh my goodness. Let's not do that one. You know what? Let's just do this one. Let's just do that one. Okay. Give it a little shake a shake and we're gonna shellac it onto our lips. What I like to do is I like to prime my lips with a nice, a little bit of a moisturizer like chapstick because it makes liquid lipstick go on up beautifully. So, 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 so. Okay, okay, okay. Anyways, anywho, haha, my bed's not made. We don't talk about that. Shh. So, this is the completed makeup look. Birthday balloons. You're special. I sure hope so. So yeah, anyways, my dogs are barking. Please excuse their bad behavior. They're just being dogs. So yeah, that is the completed makeup look. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I just want to let you guys know, I love each and every single one of you. Every single one of you, I love you. You guys give me happiness. And that's the tea. So I'm a skedaddle, and I'm gonna skedaddle. And someday I will see you again, and that will be soon. 